Hey guys, so this is a uh, tutorial for how to um, get an Android game uh, to make an Android game using Unity. Um, so I'm starting out just opening up a Explorer browser. First of all, assuming you have Unity, um, this is the Unity 3.5, uh, just the latest release, and this has this comes with an Android trial, um, which I believe expires in a few days for me, at least. Um, but you can go to the Unity website if you want and uh, download the uh, full version. So I'm just going to go over the first thing you'll need is um, you'll, you'll need the uh, JDK, which is the Java Developer Kit. And you can start getting that by going to Oracle. Uh, so let me just type in Oracle JDK. I'm just typing this in on Google. A couple important things here. Um, if you have the uh, Windows, uh, well, I'm, pers I'm personally running a Windows 7 64-bit system. Uh, to develop on Unity. Um, and the one thing I noticed is that uh, if you download the uh, x64 version, here's the uh, get that out of the way. Here's the um, this is the one you want to download right here. It's the uh, JDK 7U3. So um, once again, assuming you're running a, uh, a PC, Windows Windows PC. Uh, so you just go ahead and um, and download get make sure you get the six this 32 bit here if you're running a 64 bit machine or otherwise just download whichever one applies to you if you're running a Linux machine or um, whatever so so get this top one here uh, and it's just it's just an exe file it's just an application so you're just gonna run it and install it I already have it installed so that's how you get to it it's oracle.com um, and now for the uh, for the second thing you'll need is the Android developer um, I forget what's called Android developer uh, kit I think it's ADK this should be it yeah this is it oh it's the SDK my bad so so you go to the uh, it's the Android SDK is the second thing you'll need um, so when you're going to the, uh, you just go to the Android website, and you download it. You just download the .exe file, uh, not the zip. It's the zip one didn't work for me. Um, so you just go ahead and click that, install it. Um, just run it like you'd run any other application file, and make sure make sure you install it too correctly. Uh, that'll be really important. And now um, the third thing you're gonna do is let me just jump down here. Um, so once you open it up, let me go in here, uh, Android. This is the default uh, installation location. And click on, um, let me see where, it, where it is. It should be in platform tools, it's called ADB. And uh, this is an application file. And you wanna make sure you have ADB running. So just run it, it's a, uh, it's, th this, this should be the first thing that comes up. It had, make sure you install all of these. It'll say installed, not installed. You want to make sure these are all installed here. Um, so once you download this and you have the uh, the different um, tools installed, uh, and you run the ADB file, that'll open it up in your. Uh, that'll just make sure so that it's recognizing your device. Um, the other thing you're gonna want to do is make sure you plug in your device. I'm currently running a. Uh, I have an HTC uh, Incredible here, and that's what I'm building off of. So let me just start off, just go into Unity. Um, once you have those things installed, make sure you do that first. The order is important here because uh, I did it out of order and it didn't build properly. Things you might want to know when you're developing. Um, but I'm just going to first off start by showing you how to set up an Android project. Now this is one I'm already working on. Uh, this is an app I'm, I'm going to release soon. It's called Grave Runner. Um, I already have the basic scene set up with camera, character, um, just the whole scene with a, it's a 3D game, so I got my 3D models in here. Um, but so I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with going to uh, a new project file. So once you create your new project, um, you'll just type in whatever project title you want and you're gonna wanna make sure you select the standard assets mobile package. That's the only package you'll need. Um, so once again, I already created mine, but that's how you'd set it up. Um, then, very important, when you go into the build settings, see how this is defaulted to Android here with that little uh, Unity icon? 
you're going to want to make sure it should be already on PC and Mac standalone or web or however you set it up for your last project anyways. Um, so you're going to want to make sure you change this to Android so you'll click the switch platform button here. It's uh, grayed out right now but you're going to click the, click the uh, switch platform. Um, once you click the switch platform it should start loading up all these different files. Um, that's when you know you're in the right area. So once you switch the platform to Android it should say up here the top bar uh, that it's Android. Okay and then um, you're going to start off um, with just going through these couple things. You're going you're to select the development build and script debugging. Make sure both of these are uh, checked. Okay and then um, oh let me keep that open. Um, and then when you go to player settings uh, scroll down here and make sure your company and product name are both filled out in the bundle identifier which is under uh, other settings. Uh, publishing settings, uh, you don't really need to change that much unless you want to create a key store, which is basically just a password so that you can access it um, if you do throw it on the marketplace and you just want to download it yourself. Um, resolution of presentation, um, I set mine to landscape, you'll probably want to do the same. Uh, landscape left, not landscape right, um, or you could even do auto rotation, whichever fits your project. Um, icon, yeah, just throw it in, um, throw in an icon if you make one. Uh, I made mine on uh, on uh, GIMP 2.6. Uh, you could use Photoshop, whatever you want for that. Uh, so I, I just took my icon out of my out of my projects folder here. Um, and in case you don't know that much about Unity, this is the uh, this is the scene view here. Uh, I don't know if it's probably kind of hard to see. And uh, I have my game view in the bottom tab here. So this is what you're going to see when you're actually running it on your droid. It should look something like this. Um, and once again, you set that up with the main camera. That This is the determining factor. Um, let me see, where's my main camera? So you can just click on it in the hierarchy view. Um, and see if I move this around, it changes what my orthographic view is. So that's important to know. Uh, make sure you have your camera set up, everything like that. Uh, there's some tutorials on the Unity website for just basic Unity setup, but this is all we really need to know for this if you have a basic idea. Um, I would recommend even starting on PC. That's what I did um, because Android's more complicated. Just, I don't know, just the building's a little more complicated. The scripting's a little more strict. Um, another thing I'm going to show you guys is if you're already familiar with uh, building onto a PC, you know you can just go ahead and create a JavaScript from the project folder here. So if I just go ahead and click Create JavaScript, um, you know you have the default new behavior script set up. So if I just call this, you know, um, just name it sample for now. Um, if you look at the top here, this this um, hashtag pragma script here. I don't know if you can see it. That's that's important uh, to have. Um, the, the the pragma script is basically just a way to identify um, that it's part of the uh, it's part of the uh, mobile version for uh, Unity. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I, I think that's always something that's in a uh, mobile uh, file. Anyway, I don't need the script, but um, so you just add a script like you would normally for a you know PC. You just click and drag. Uh, I have all my scene objects here in the pro uh, the uh, hierarchy. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Um, so I have all my scene objects set up. Um, yeah, and you know with colliders and such. So basically, yeah, here's my game. Uh, mostly finished. So once you create your game, have it set up the way you want. I'm just going to go over how to build it because that's probably the most important thing you're going to want to know. So, right, I got all my, my games basically done, whatnot, right? Um, I'm actually still working on it, but let's pretend it's done. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to build and run, but not yet. First thing I'm going to do is first I'm going to double check, make sure everything's downloaded. Second is if you have, make sure your uh, phone's um, drivers are up to date. Like if you're running off Motorola or HTC, go to your manufacturer's website and make sure you download the latest drivers for that. So just go ahead to Google um, and and make sure, you know, you can type in just HTC uh, driver download for and, and select, go to the HTC website and select what you're trying to download. So here, I personally I had to manually download mine off the site. Um, 
Yeah, so make sure your driver's up to date. Second, make sure your phone is uh, up to date. That's really important because if your phone's out of date and it, the driver's up to date, it won't make any difference because your phone needs to be up to date if you're um, planning to do any sort of development. And so once once you have the up to date driver, right? You got the JD JDK package installed, the Java Developer Kit, and the uh, Android Developer Kit, right? I think it's called that. Uh, Android SDK. Okay, well, whatever SDK stands for, I'm sorry, I don't know what that means, but uh, I just know you need it. Um, so once that's downloaded and you have the updated driver, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your phone here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so you're going to go to your phone, um, go under, well, this is, this is just my HTC phone. You might have a different one, but make sure you go into your settings, right? There should be something that talks about um, applications. So go under applications, go under manage, or no, development, my bad. So go under development and make sure all three of these are checked. There should be USB debugging, um, very important. Make sure that is, uh, is checked, this one here. First one, the second one, stay awake. You don't want your uh, phone turning off while you're um, while you're trying to build. And allow mock locations. Also keep that on too. Um, so then, then the next thing you're going to do is go into the uh, marketplace here. Uh, I guess they call it the Play Store now. Anyway, so this Unity Remote app is very important to have. Um, it basically what it does is it makes it so. You don't have to keep building your game onto your phone over and over again if you want to test it, which I know gets in a lot. So make sure you get this app. Very important to have. So once you're going to head, go ahead and build it, um, right? like I said, make sure all three of those things are turned on. You're going to take a USB plug and plug it directly into your PC. Um, and if you have all those things set up, then you go ahead and build and run. Um, like I said, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I don't have to build it right now, but um, that's when you build and run. And if you're running into problems saying, oh, well, it's not working for me, um, you know, like, why doesn't it work? Well, there's like a ton of things that could, that could happen. Um, but uh, most notably for me, it was that I had the HTC Sync. So if, you, if you're running an HTC phone um, for your Android, I would go ahead into your task manager and scroll down to where it says HTC Uploader and just cancel that, just end the process. Uh, you could just uninstall HTC Sync, but if you use it, I, I mean, it's not really necessary. You can just end the process. Second thing, you wanna make sure ABD is running, um, which is Android. Uh, this is that file we just talked about, ADB. So click that, make sure that's running. So even scroll through here. It, it will run if you click this application here. If you click this, uh, it's like a command prompt. So. Um, yeah, that should basically cover it, guys. Um, yeah, so once you once you have all those things set up, like I said, make sure it's in order. Don't go out of order. Um, if you have any questions, just comment on the video. And yeah, so that should take care of it. Um, yep, and you know, just make sure all your settings are correct. Make sure everything's the way you want it. And yeah, then after that, you'll, you'll get an uh, APK package and then you can throw it on the App Store once it's done. Um, any questions, just post below or message me. Um, yeah, so that should take care of it. Anyway, good luck with your games, guys.